Chevys cost less at Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond. Save on new Silverado 1500, 2500 heavy duty, and 3500 heavy duty trucks. Shop online at jackburford.com. Jack Burford Chevrolet, where Chevys cost less. It's Tuesday and we have news for you as always. I'm Marissa Hempel and it's your Tuesday afternoon news brief. A man and a woman were arrested here in Madison County after they were allegedly seen going down the wrong way on I-75 on Sunday. 33-year-old Earl Bingham of Richmond and 29-year-old Felicia Atkins were allegedly intoxicated with children in the car when they were spotted near mile marker 94. Bingham was allegedly slumped over in the passenger side of the car and Atkins, who was driving, also seemed disoriented with the 8-year-old and a 2-month-old in the vehicle. Both Atkins and Bingham were taken to the hospital for a blood draw and are now facing multiple charges. Lexington police are asking for the public's help after a bicyclist was killed in a hit and run incident over the weekend. According to the coroner's office, 47 year old John Oliver died at UK Medical Center on Sunday after he was discovered critically injured Saturday on North Limestone. At the moment, no next of kin for Oliver has been located. The collision reconstruction unit are currently working to investigate the case, but there's no description of the vehicle involved. Anyone with information can submit a tip anonymously to Lexington Police Department or to Bluegrass Crime Stoppers. Anyone with information on the family family of Oliver can also contact the Fayette County Coroner's Office. The EKU Theater Department announced the last dates of their final production on the heels of the program suspension from last spring. The final production will be a cabaret, and they will also continue to be doing Shakespeare plays in the ravine over the summer. However, the previous theater department will no longer be in existence. Anyone, however, that is still interested can contact the EKU Theater Department to get involved. And shots allegedly were fired Sunday night that led to the arrest of a man by Kentucky State Police. KSP reports that Sean Zockling was taken into custody after he allegedly fled from officers and attempted to conceal multiple items. After a search, troopers uncovered needles, suspected methamphetamine, and a handgun that appeared to have been fired. The victim reported they had been in a fight with Zockling, who had allegedly fired the gun at them. He was taken to the detention center and charged with possession of methamphetamine, drug paraphernalia, fleeing or paying police, disorderly conduct, and first degree wanton endangerment. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.